Man accused of wounding the six year old girl, her parents and a neighbor in a North Carolina neighborhood is now behind bars right here in Tampa. Yeah, the story of that little girl and her basketball that got away making national headlines. The Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office says the man wanted on four counts of attempted first degree murder turned himself in this afternoon. Investigators say the manhunt for Robert Singletary began after that Tuesday shooting near Charlotte and it ended this afternoon in Hillsborough County. In depth reporter Rochelle Aline is outside the county jail on Orient Road where Singletary is now being held. 24 year old Robert Singletary is expected to be in court tomorrow morning. According to the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office, he actually turned himself into deputies just before five this evening, but it took investigators almost two hours to formally identify him because he didn't have any ID on him at the time. And then they were able to alert investigators who have been searching for him for the past two days. According to witnesses, this all started on Tuesday. They say some neighborhood kids were playing some basketball in the neighborhood and that the ball actually rolled into Singletary's yard. They say Singletary got mad and started running down the street and firing a gun at a neighbor. Later, they say he started shooting again, this time at a man named William White. They say as White ran away, he was actually shot. They also say Singletary grazed White's six-year-old daughter named Kinsley and her mother, a woman named Ashley Hildebrand. That mother says Singletary threatened their lives and that other members of their family were also in fear of being shot. Looked at my, my husband and my daughter and told them I'm going to kill you. I believe he would have got me and my husband too. Really? He just went out of bullets. We're told that father who was shot, William White, is still in the hospital in serious condition. As far as Singletary is concerned, we're told that at tomorrow morning's court appearance, it's expected that they will talk about when he'll be extradited back to North Carolina. In Tampa, Rochelle Aline, ABC Action News.